Hey guys, after last week's video, I've got plenty of Powercast Burn castable resin to play with, and I thought I'd have a go at making a ring for my mate Dan, who lives in the land of Oz. Like me, he enjoys rings, but doesn't actually wear them. But what he does love is wolves. So of course I headed over to Thingiverse for inspiration. Now, I've been a big admirer of busts for as long as I can remember. I like busts of all sizes, big, medium or small, so I was thrilled to get my hands on this bust. Okay, it's a werewolf rather than a wolf, but it's only the head I'm after and this one really looks the part. So I began with mesh mixer when I sliced the body away. I then opened up Fusion 360 and created a very basic ring. I imported the wolf head, married the two together and did an initial print on my Illigu mask to see how things looked. For me the band was too thick and the head just didn't look right. After a little adjusting and another test print, I came up with something I quite liked. But I thought it still needed more tweaking. The teeth were okay but I wanted them to really stand out. The eyes seemed hard to see and the snarl just wasn't snarly enough. Blender seemed an obvious solution. A little sculpting was needed. One last test print had me delighted with the design. It would never be very practical to wear, but it looked nice and mean. I changed the resin in my printer to Powercast Burn Castable Resin. I applied four priming coats to ensure the print stuck to the build plate, UV coating for 10 minutes or so between coats. I was very pleased with the quality of the prints and they cleaned up nicely. Supports were easy to clip away and sand flush with a little fine grade paper. I'd lost the very tip of one ear at some point, but this was easy to replace with a little wax.
There was a little flashing around the edges, but this was paper thin and easy to pull or file away. But the teeth, I love those teeth. Other than the flashing and the sprues, there really wasn't very much to clean up. So I decided to let the tumbler do all the work. So what do you think? I'm delighted and I hope Dan will be as well. And most of this was free. The Thingiverse file, then Mesh Mixer, Fusion 360, and of course Blender. There was nothing difficult here, but the overall effect is very pleasing. It really is amazing what we can do at home with these fabulous free resources. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, take care and thanks for watching.